Hi everyone, it's that time again for another Textures launch. Now this is the launch of a fantastic range of paper craft products. So we have dies in here, we have stamps as well, we have beautiful papers, we have stencils also. Now I've also got a core item in here, that means that it's something that you can use across all of my collections and other paper crafting products that you've got within your stash. Now you can see a little bit of a hint around here as to the style. Uh, this is definitely heavily influenced by my love for forests and woodlands. I used to live on the edge of a forest, so I used to take daily walks with my dogs and I love all seasons in the forest. This is focusing on autumn because that's where we are right now, but you can definitely take any of these images and make them seasonal, so uh, Christmassy, they could be um, for spring, for summer, you name it, you know, you can adapt them. So I'm going to start by showing you the products. I'm also going to show you what the products can make. So I've got lots of cards to show you for inspiration and we're going to put together a couple of little bits as well at the end. So stay tuned for that. I'd love to know in the comments which is your favourite item, whether you'll be purchasing this. Links are below for everything. So whether you want to buy individual items, the entire bundle, whatever it may be, plus ways to save money as well using the Craft Stash VIP membership. So let's start a course with the papers because I think this is actually my favourite part of the entire collection. So as always with textures papers, these are A5, they are 190 GSM. Now I always find 190 GSM usually is a paperweight but actually it's a really really good weight. It's almost a cardstock but it's perfect for die cutting, for tearing, for using for your mixed media and things like that. So let's just take a look at some of the uh, images that we've got. We've got like the book page with those beautiful autumnal images in the background. We have got this one. I love this. I'll be fussy cutting those out. We've got the leaves as well. Absolutely beautiful. We've got the book page. I wanted like a, um, a nature identification type book page in here as well. So we've got that with the pine cones. We've just got some simple texts there as well, like a register. And we've got this is going to be perfect if you love scrapbooking or art journaling because you could cut this area out and place that on top. These are going to look brilliant with the characters that I've got for you in this collection as well. And there's just a textured background page as well. So they're the six designs and you've got four of each in there. Then moving on to some dies. So we have got our squirrel and hedgehog. Now you can see these lovely little characters here, the way I've built them up, but you can of course do these in multiple different colors. So I'll show you through the cards in a moment. Included in these, you've also got the um, tree stump, the acorn, the leaves as well, and the flower. So you can paper piece all of these. Now they look complicated, they're really not. So each of the characters is, the main body of them is simply two layers. So you've got the base paler colour layer and then you've got the darker layer on top. How much you decorate them and colour them is entirely up to you. So you can put as much work and time and effort into these characters or if you need a quick project these are going to build up really really easily for you. The eyes are simply white and black extra bits but you can if you want to draw or colour those on. So you've got those as well. Again I'll show you examples in a bit. We've got the toadstools as well. I adore, I adore these. I don't know what it is about them. You could do them in different colours. I'll show you some multicoloured ones that I've done in a minute. They look really funky. Um, but just that, I think it's the pop of red against all of the other deeper, darker colours that you get in the forest. I think they're brilliant. As you can see here, they're a really good size as well, and I'll show you those on a card. These are layering too, so if you've seen my video, and I'll pop that just up here, for how to stamp using layering dies, you can do this technique. You can actually do it also with the squirrel and the hedgehog too, so check that out. Um, but yeah, they're good size, and again, two layers, so really, really quick to build up. Then we've got a stamp and die set. So this is going to be all your sentiments, your additional pieces. You see all the fern leaves laying around here. These are cut from these two leaves here. Everything in purple is a die. Everything in black is a stamp. So you can see we've got lots of coordinating stamps and dies going through all the words. These leaves are such cool stamps. They give like this textured, distressed, watercolor sort of style look to your stamps. Perfect for backgrounds. I'll be doing a tutorial 
for that as well soon on my channel so if you're not already subscribed make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that so that is a full stamp and die set you'll see these images actually across many of my cards now I'll just skip to the stencils at the back now excuse these because obviously they are you I use them <laughs> they are working stencils so I didn't think I just ripped the packaging when I first got them as I do quickly rip it off and start playing and I didn't think about having to show you with ripped packaging so I apologize we've got two stencils in this set they're both a5 so they're going to fill your card bases nice and easily uh, we've got the wood grain one which is a nice bold wood grain but if you would duplicate that and what I mean by that is stencil through say flip it over or turn it up and just sort of do it again just move it slightly go through it again with a different color you're going to get a fantastic textured wood grain there then we've also got the wreath as well this is really good fun beautiful to do with the squirrel or the hedgehog sitting inside it a couple of the toadstools again that's going to be a project that we're going to do very soon and lastly and the reason I've come to this one last is because this is what I call my core item now if you know anything about textures you'll know that I love to incorporate fonts words within the uh, pattern and the design of my items now I've got a huge love for text um, in all styles I loved hand lettering and do you know what typewriter font is one of my all-time favorites It's right up there in the top three of my favorite fonts this mixed with brush lettering scripts um, sort of hand lettering the two paired together are wonderful now I wanted to bring you this which is your word label designer this is four rectangles or sorry three I think it's three rectangles let me just peel that off because I've got tape I've put all mine on a magnetic sheet because as you can see you've got a lot of dice here so you've got the three rectangles these are guides for you these cut out your label shape the outline and then you include your words inside using the tabs you can evenly space your words inside as well as you can see here I've got the word hey in there I've also got a stray letter on there I don't know why let's take that off pop the word hey in you can you've got five you've got I think it's seven and nine for the letters so you can really do any length of letter you can use these on their own without the guides if you want to if you don't want that outline cut out the rectangle cut out you can use it like that so you can see on the packaging how you get all those letters fall out beautifully there's so many ways of using this but I love the sort of Dymo style uh, labels on cards and I just love that I can build my own words now so let's take a look at some cards that I've created using this collection so first of all the hedgehogs I love them now I flipped one over in this one so this one I've actually die cut and just turned it round before I pieced it together and this way I've got the two facing each other so perfect for an anniversary or a wedding card something like that really really pretty as you can see switch up the colors I've added eyelashes to this one just for a little bit of extra you can see the leaves in there the flower it's all come from the collection the only thing that hasn't is one of my uh, another core item a staple item is from my sentiments for all pack this sentiment came from but you'll find that uh, available linked down below as well then we've got the squirrel look how cool he is now I said about text the idea with textures is about adding texture is about adding um, different patterns and designs to otherwise plain items so you can see with the bushy tail I've added lots of texture here um, I've actually got a video creating something similar coming up soon so again make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that you've got the toadstools in here this isn't even the largest toadstool this is actually the two the smaller and the medium size one you can see that label die there so I've used the word sorry and then I've added the word friend from the stamp and die set as well but he was so quick and easy to build up I actually did six squirrels all at once like all at the same time because they're so quick now coming to those toadstools and I said about adding color look at this now it's a little bit of fun it's a little bit of a pun a play on words there so the shiitake happens um, read it as you will but yeah just add color to your mushrooms if you want to a pop of color on craft or maybe on a black background as I just did the last card it really looks stunning so you can just use those on their own but what about using everything together so I've pretty much used the hedgehog is smelling a flower leaning on the tree stump we've got the toadstools around we've got fern leaves I've actually put in some dried um, foliage from my garden in there as well the background is one of the papers and then you've got that sentiment that's stamped and die cut too so there's everything going on there but again really really good fun 
a slightly simpler card and if you go on the craft slash channel you'll see uh, we should soon have if we haven't already got a short video of me creating this very quick a bit of ink blending in the background popping on one of those very quickly constructed squirrels with the toadstool again that sentiments for all pack there and just a string of acorns that he's looking or he or she is looking at we actually get more gray squirrels near me than the red ones so the great thing is you can of course uh, color color code the squirrels the hedgehog you can make them any color you can make rainbow ones if you want to the choice is yours so there's a good card that would be perfect for my daughter I'd just change the wording because she loves toadstools mushrooms things like that and again there's just building up a complete scene with the toadstools the leaves the acorn that they're looking up at as well um, tearing into one of those backing papers I just absolutely love everything about this collection I hope you do too I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at all of this so let's quickly put a card together using these elements that I've already got cut out so I'm going to start building up a background for the characters and all the other elements to sit in front of I'm going to use this text piece of paper because this is just going to add a little bit of pattern to my project I'm also going to be using this is something that actually is a bit of waste from a project that I did but it looks like a moon so I'm kind of going to go with it and use it as a moon I'm just going to place a little bit of yellow on the background. Now, as you can see, I've got this lovely kind of um, opaque, oh, not opaque, what's the other, translucent look to the background there. So that's kind of like my moon there with the glow around it. Around this, I'm going to go with a blue. So this is chipped sapphire. So I'm going to start blending in. This is actually going to be a nighttime forest look which is going to be really different because usually of course you think of forest and you do daytime you do the the um, bugs flying around you do the butterflies you do the sunshine hitting things so I'm actually going a little bit different with this now again you can still see that we've got that gorgeous text coming through the ink which I love you can of course build up your um, color if you want so it is more opaque so you can't see the text through as we get darker towards the edges the outside you're not going to see as much of this so I just want to lay down the blue now my blending brush isn't doing great at the moment it really needs a clean which is why I'm getting the the marks and smudges and things in it but I think it will just add to the effect anyway so I'm not too stressed about that so just working my way around and then with the yellow I'm just going to blend that in a little bit more just to make sure I've got that there. Then I'm going to come to uh, black soot. Now black soot in distress oxides it's not really black it's more charcoal so again you're still going to be able to see that text through which is brilliant that's what we want. So going to work my way around the rest of the uh, paper here just exactly as I have been blending in circles and blending into the edge of that blue. So there we go now as always a few little flicks of water to give it um, a distressed look but also to add to the starry night sort of look as well so just flicking that on allow those to dry so you can now allow those to air dry or you can take a piece of kitchen towel and you can lift that up but already you can start to see that distress working on there so I'll just leave that to air dry I won't worry about lifting that so I've got my uh, my moon and so this is a piece of kitchen towel that's absorbed some ink and I just thought it's going to be perfect to use as a moon there I think that just works really really well okay so now I need to build up my card so let's remove backing sheet there so that was just a resistance surface and I think what I'm going to have is so I've already built up my images now these are really really quick and like I say there will be tutorials on how to put these together so I'm thinking let's have Mr. Squirrel here, Mr. or Mrs. And I think we're going to have a hedgehog sitting below him just there. So let's make sure they are central and that I'm happy with them. Oh, I think they're so cute. And then we need some toadstools. So I don't want the toadstools to be uh, too overpowering because they, they can be quite big. They're quite large. So let's them there and then maybe a couple just in front of them so they're kind of buried within the undergrowth there and they're all there we go okay looking good so far let's just I don't want that toadstool to look as if he's holding it 
I will trim the edges as well. There we go. And then build up the leaves. So at this stage, um, I'm just going to place items and then I'm going to start sticking things down once I'm happy with all the composition. So here I now put my hand on and I just lift up under where I'd like things to go. So definitely one there. Then I'll need one the other side as well, always. So under the head shelf, but kind of in front of the toadstool for that one. I'm going to have some darker leaves behind them as well. There we go. One down there. Let's bring this foliage up too, like so. Um, I have one just sitting between the toasters. Again, I will trim the edges off like so yeah I'm happy with that I love building up these scenes I just think they are so much so much fun look at that how quickly has that built up now I'm going to probably just put a little acorn in the hands of the squirrel because you know they love their acorns don't they he's holding that how cute is that and then you can just put a sentiment anywhere you like at the top um, I might even just put one here. So I need to make sure that he's actually sitting on the tree stump. There we go. So what I do now is I'd take my foam tape, my foam um, pads, and I'd start adhering pieces, but I'd do it from the front. So with my glue for the ferns and my foam pads for the larger pieces, I will start with this top piece here, and then I'd work my way back adhering everything eventually then to the backing piece so there's lots of dimension between the two let's speed this up for you so you can see how I do it and then with my sentiment using that label builder uh, I've got a finished card so if you like tutorials like this um, you can subscribe to my channel there and you can purchase and find all of the items that I've showcased in this launch just here and I think you'll also really like this video just here thank you for joining me everybody I hope to see you again really really soon